Hello and uh, you're welcome to today's lesson. So today we are looking at additional mathematics and we are going to look at solving uh, equations, a system of equations and we are specifically looking at the type of equations which involve one linear and one quadratic equation. So let's begin. So I have a problem here which is solve the equation this one and the y is equal to negative x uh, plus 2. So I want us to look at how you solve such equations. So when you are solving such equations, what you need to do is um, there are two equations here. So you can get one equation and make one variable the subject of uh, the formula and then you fuse it into the second equation. Now if you observe here, you will see that the second equation we have y which is already subject to formula. So we, the, our only job is to be able to get this equation and then fuse it into the first equation. So wherever there is y in the first equation, we are going to replace it with x, negative x plus 2. Since here we are told y is equal to negative x plus 2. So wherever there is y in the first equation, we are going to replace it with it, negative x and uh, plus 2. So which is going to give us 3x uh, squared plus x. Then we have y here, so open bracket and put x plus 2, close bracket, minus 2. Again we are seeing y here, we open bracket and uh, put uh, x negative x plus 2 and then this y is actually being squared so it's squared and this is equal to 27 so what we're going to do is we can expand here we're going from uh, 3 x squared plus x times negative x x times negative x will give us negative x squared x times 2 will give us plus 3x then negative okay this we're going to expand this one first of all so we have 2 open bracket negative x plus 2, open bracket again negative x plus 2, and then this is equal to 27. So what we have done is that since this negative x plus 2 has been squared, so we expand it like this. This is what it means when you are squaring um, a term. So now, what we have is that we are going to keep this part and then uh, multiply work on this part. So we have 3x to the second minus x to the second plus 2x minus 2. So we now expand inside. So neg negative x times negative x will give us positive x squared. Negative x times positive 2 will give us negative 2x. Then 2 times negative x will give us negative 2x. 2 times 2 will give us plus uh, 4. Close bracket. This is equal to 27. Alright. So we have 3x uh, squared. Okay. This one we can even um, work on this, we can simplify this term, since these are like terms. We have 3x uh, squared minus uh, x squared, so this is going to give us 2x squared. Then plus 2x, we now open bracket. Actually, before we can open bracket, we can uh, work on this one, these are like terms as well. So this is 2x, I mean x squared minus 2x minus 2x will simply give us 4x then um, this is going to give us uh, positive 4 is equal to 27. Alright, so we have 2x squared plus 2x. We now expand. So negative 2 times the x squared will give us negative 2x squared. Negative times negative will give us positive. 2 times 4 will be 8x. Negative 2 times 4 will give us negative uh, 8. So this is what we get. So now what we are going to do from this point is that we arrange like terms, okay? We group the like terms. So the like terms are 2x squared and negative 2x squared. These are like terms. And if we like, since this uh, 2x is 2x squared is positive, and this other 2x um, squared is negative. So these two, when we rearrange them, they are just simply going to cancel themselves out. So we are going to be left with two positive 2x and the positive uh, 8x minus uh, 8. And this is equal to 27. So 2x plus 8x is going to give us uh, 10x. So what we are going to get now is we are going to have 10x is equal to 27. You move this uh, negative 8x to the other side and it's going to become positive 8. So this is going to be... 10x is equal to, when you add here, you are going to get 35. 
then you divide by 10, you divide by 10, cancel, then the value of x, you can cancel 5 here, it's 2, 5 into uh, 35 is going to give us 7. So the value of x is simply 7 over, over 2. So what we are going to do now to get the value of y is that we are going to substitute. That's what we are going to do to get the value of, of, of y. So, if we go back to if we go back to the second equation, we have y is equal to negative negative x. So we're going to say negative open bracket 7 over 2, then plus 2. Remember that this is the value of x. We are now substituting. We are getting the value of x from that point and refuse it in we replace it in, uh, in the second equation. So y is equal to when you expand, this is going to be 7 over 2 plus 2. This is the same as over 1. Uh, common denominator here, since it's, it's a fraction, is going to be 2. Now we begin to ask how many times does 2 go into 2? And it goes there uh, once. So 1 times negative 7 is simply negative 7. Plus 1 into 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is going to give us 4. When you add here, negative 7 plus 4, we subtract because you are dealing with numbers that have got different uh, signs. So you will subtract and maintain the sign of a bigger number. So this is going to give us negative 3 uh, over 2. So this is how we solve. So let's take a break.